Hey everyone, welcome back. So I hope you're having a good start in the new year and some productive practice sessions and all of that. So some people were asking me about scale routines. So I thought I'd make this video for you all to show you some ideas and some things that have worked for me over the past few years. So I find often when people are playing scales, they're doing it kind of aimlessly. Right, they're playing scales because they think they're supposed to be doing so. Maybe their teacher told them, or they just have this idea in their head that that's what the cello should be doing. Um, and of course, scales are very good and very helpful, but only when they have a purpose. You see, if you're just practicing in them aimlessly, going up and down the instrument without any goal or purpose, it's not really going to do anything for you. It's kind of wasting your time. So before you play scales in the morning, decide what it is you want to work on in your playing, in your technique. You see, if you're playing your repertoire and there are some problems that you run into, whether it's in a particular bow stroke or in your vibrato or in your posture or some tension, whatever it is, devote your scale time to working on this problem. You see, then it's going to be productive for you. It's going to have application in the music that you're playing, right? Nobody plays scales just to be good at scales. Like there's no point of this, right? We want to be good musicians. We want to be good at the music that we play. And to do that, you need to be good at your instrument and the scales help you achieve that, but only if they have a purpose. Okay. So I find for most of us, um, for myself, uh, surely, intonation is usually the biggest problem that we consistently run into, right? It's this never ending search that we have always as string players. So I usually devote my scale routines to working on intonation. So I use this book called the Carl Flesch Scale System. Here it is. I've used this book for about the past four years or so. Um, that's just what I use. It doesn't really matter which book you use. It's about how you use it. Um, but in this book, they'll have all the different keys separated. Um, so I would just choose one key per day and focus on that. Um, so if it's C major, the way it works is first you'll play all the scales and all the arpeggios just in the bottom octave, one octave. And then after you've mastered that, you go to the second octave. And then the third octave, fourth octave, once you've done all of that, then you put them all together and do the whole way. Okay? So when I do this for intonation, I play these scales extremely slowly. Okay? So I'll play one pitch, and only when it's completely centered in the intonation, well, I move on to the second pitch. And if I miss it, then I'll go back. And I'll keep doing that until I can get it completely naturally um, with perfectly centered intonation. You see, this is the way that it's gonna be productive um, because you are forcing your ears and your muscles to truly learn where the proper placement is on the fingerboard. You know, if you're just playing like this, you're not improving at all on your intonation. You're just going through motions. But if you sit there really and go, you go back and forth until you really master it exactly where you want it, then you're getting somewhere. Yeah, and that's going to start to have real uh, application and improvement in your repertoire. So I'll go like that. Um, at first, it can take a long time because your ears aren't used to being this honest with yourself. So sometimes I would spend literally over half an hour just on this one octave C major scale, getting it right. But over time, it's going to improve, right? You're gonna get a lot better and it's not gonna take so long. Um, so I would do this, um, I would spend no longer certainly than 45 minutes on your scales. I think that that would be a good place to stop. 
but that doesn't mean you have to get through everything, the whole key in 45 minutes. No, take your time, um, do it at your own pace and be truly honest with your intonation. That's the only way it's going to get better. Yeah, always go back. It takes a ton of discipline, a ton of discipline. But if you do this um, really every day um, for weeks, you're going to start to notice an incredible improvement for the, I guarantee you. Um, you know, I, I noticed that even within two weeks, there is a big change in my intonation, in my playing. And if you add that up to months, to years, like your intonation is going to be incredible. Okay. If, if you have that discipline, you know, but it takes that true commitment to do it. So if you want to do it, if you're inspired to improve that in your playing, go for it, you know, cause this, I guarantee you it's going to help, but only if you do it with purpose, if you have those goals for yourself and you're disciplined about it. Okay. So that's what I have for you all today. Um, that's just a glimpse into the scare routines that have worked for me over the past several years and what I've been spending my time on. So I hope it helps. Um, try it out. Let me know um, if it works for you all. And also let me know any requests for the next episode. So thank you a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.